or seas and oceans are considered by some to be the world's greatest allies against climate change, given the role they play in absorbing carbon emissions. But as Earth heats up, they might not be able to function quite as effectively. As CNA's Rani Samtani reports, one research ship is on a mission to find out how to protect this vital resource. Every second breath that anyone takes comes from the oceans. It's the largest carbon sink for the world. And so the more that we can do to understand, protect, and uh, conserve um, around the ocean space, then hopefully we'll have a long and bright future uh, for our next generation. This is the Ocean Explorer. The state-of-the-art vessel is 87 meters long and fitted with the most advanced equipment for deep sea exploration. With submersibles and remote operated vehicles, it is charting the ocean, the last unexplored frontier on Earth. It recently made unexpected discoveries in parts of Southeast Asia. We've been sailing in Indonesia and Malaysia. We discovered a sea mount that nobody knew had been there. Each mission, we're collecting terabytes and terabytes of data. The world's lungs are its forests and oceans. So two thirds of the world is, a, you know, bringing carbon, carbon dioxide out of, the, out of the atmosphere. What we want is people to figure out why that's happening, how it's happening, and how we can preserve that. Southeast Asia is an amazing location. It's the most biodiverse uh, location in the world, the most biodiverse waters. It also is one of the locations that is getting most impacted from global climate change. We had a number of universities from Malaysia that uh, did some of this uh, coral studies um, and other sediment samples and other things um, in both Tioman and Kwantan. And what they found was actually the corals were rebounding uh, much quicker than they thought, but they also uh, discovered five new uh, deep sea uh, coral habitats uh, that they previously didn't know about. Only 5% of the ocean has been explored and charted by humans. The rest, especially its depths, are still unknown. The Ocean Explorer is equipped with cutting edge technology like this submersible to help survey different marine environments and map the ocean floor. Recent expeditions across Southeast Asia have helped governments and researchers make key scientific findings to help combat climate change. Along with collecting data about what's at the bottom of the ocean, the ship has scientific labs on board to immediately analyze samples and species collected. The scientists can uh, effectively do the whole sort of life cycle of research in one place while they're at sea. Um, so from sample collection to the further analysis to the, um, uh, to the gene sequencing, um, the whole lot. Uh, so that means that over the course of the mission, they can then take home all of that data um, and it's all ready for them to publish effectively. So for a lot of samples, for example, uh, doing the environmental DNA work, um, we can get results uh, in a matter of days, you know, sort of th three to five days. If you have to just collect the samples and then do further analysis on shore, it can take months and months and months. With global temperatures hitting record highs, the focus on ocean-based action has been growing at the annual UN-led COP discussions. The oceans is a shared resource, a shared uh, in investment uh, to our well-being, and so it really takes cross-country dialogues uh, and cross-border dialogues in order to have a better impact on the oceans and know how to better conserve, protect. Scientists insist reaching net zero emissions is impossible without nature-based solutions. Earth's vast forests and oceans are the only option for absorbing carbon pollution on a large scale, which is why experts around the world say more needs to be done to protect them. Rani Samtani, CNA, Singapore.